what's up everybody welcome back to blb uh on my way in for the morning league right now it is 24 degrees outside so just remember if you're cold your bowling balls are cold so you won't want to take them inside but the thing is the myth is can't leave your bowling balls in the cold can't leave them out can't leave them out in the heat Heat, yes. If it gets too freaking hot, you leave your stuff out in your car, your stuff will crack. Cold, not so much. He says, people think, hey, if a bowling ball, if your bowling balls are cold, they'll react differently. Yeah, they do, but they don't. Uh, as you see, I am wearing a sweatshirt. It's a zip down, full zip. Uh, sweatshirt that's made by Viz. I had this made a couple years ago. Uh, I have a couple of jerseys by them. Um, they fit comfortably. Uh, Viz is a company that's in Italy. So if you get anything by them, you make sure you want to go up a size because their size difference is about a size up from us uh, over here in the U.S. I wear a 3X. When I get a jersey from Viz, I have to get a 4X with one inch extra length. And they fit very comfortable. So, on to other things. Uh, we're in the month of February. Uh, not this Saturday, but Next week on Saturday on, Fe on the 18th of February uh, is the Hall of F is the York Adams Hall of Fame banquet. A longtime friend, uh, a mentor at one point, uh, somebody that I used to like, somebody that I like watching bowl, uh, somebody that's given me advice through the years, is being inducted to the Hall of Fame. Uh, shout out to. Uh, here's a shout out to him. Uh, congrats to Adam Bear, who is being inducted into the USBC uh, York Adams Hall of Fame. Saturday's going to be great. Uh, I will have his speech and everything up here on the channel. And, and everything uh, might go up. Do a little interview with him at the Hall of Fame. Uh, I've had people ask me why don't you put us on? Why don't you put us on and stuff like that? And I try and I tell them time after time I go, it's the profanity. I can't have anything like that. Like it's I'm trying to keep this kid friendly and stuff like that, but it also not made for kids. My channel is not made for kids. It's just if a parent or something's watching my channel. Or watch one of my videos because every now and then my purse shop guy puts one of my new episode, puts my newest episode up on in his shop, and he's got parents that bring their kids in to get bowling balls and stuff like that. If my video is playing, I don't need that kind of stuff on like language on my video. I've said it. There's other people that have said it on my video that you've heard in the background, but it's just a quick moment, but. Like the F word, I don't need that on my channel. It's just, yeah. So I will see everyone later for league. Uh, I'll keep it a surprise of what ball I throw and we'll see how the morning goes. And I'll see everyone later.
What's up everybody? I'm on my way home from Tuesday morning league. Uh, I got a couple of shots, I got a couple of uh, shots in from Tuesday morning league throwing the ball that I was telling you about. It is drilled short pin. It is the Ebonite the one remix. The ball is smooth. I remember the original one remix being smooth, which is a nice ball. Uh, the ball has nice continuous motion through the back end. I shot games of 280, 
202-279 had 761. Um, hopefully I can carry it on until tomorrow to tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we're on 9 and 10. Again, I'm on 9 and 10 again. My team bulls to buy. So and bowling by means I gotta be within 10 of my average. Sorry about that. So my two, so my state's arsenal that I have is what I'm taking the states now. What I have my arsenal is now is what I'm taking the states. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, as my one, as my bag go, the first bag is the one remix katana slash choice pearl and spy. Second bag is uh, squatch solid. Double Cross, Octane Burn, and Intel. That's what I'm taking to States. And we'll see how that goes at States. Uh, I found out last night that the one bowling center in States is actually a split house, which means there's lanes on, on either side. Uh, some people might question why I'm only taking one urethane because I don't want to have to rely on urethane for a game at all or anything, like rely on urethane the whole time. Depending on what the shot is, because normally what I do for states is I'll stand at 20, throw my first shot in practice, and see what the ball does. And then adjust from there. Practice for the school bowling. Uh, I just put an order in with my with uh, Dave, with my first shot guy Dave Kurtz. For I'm getting a T-shirt made and shorts made that will that will have my logo on it, along, and it'll also say Big Leprechaun Bowling on it. He put the order in when I left. Cause I stood there with him. We did everything. Made up the shirt, pants, and the shorts. Those will be worn to states. They will be worn during states. I have my jerseys and my pants and my shorts I'm taking for that. So I will see everyone tomorrow. Well, if I don't if I don't get on, if I I'll see basically I'll see everyone later. See everyone later and enjoy your afternoon. What up, everybody? I'm back. Uh, so now I'm on my way to pick my buddy up. He bowling league tonight. I work tonight. Uh, we're on our way back into the center. Uh, there's optional practice for the high school bowling. I think the rest of this month. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's uh, optional practice for the ones that made it to districts and regionals for high school. We have two of them going, uh, both the boy and the girl. So that, that's pretty awesome. And then I won't be able to make districts to coach, but I'll be able to make the regionals to coach, which is pretty good. So. And then uh, I want to talk more about the Hall of Fame. Uh, so the York Adams USBC to enter the hall, be able to enter the Hall of Fame, you have to be 40. In my opinion, I don't think there should be a set eight minimum age requirement to enter the Hall of Fame. I think anybody should be able to enter the Hall of Fame whenever they want. The reason why I'm saying that is because Adam would have been when Adam was 35. He would have been able to enter the Hall of Fame because he already had his Hall of Fame resume set at that time. Um, right now, I'm 34. 
I turned 35 this March. I'm hoping in five, hoping in, when I turn 40, I have a good enough of a resume to be inducted to the Hall of Fame. The reason I'm saying that is because the other week when when my brother shot his first 300. I went back through and checked all mine. Uh, with the exception of 2018 and 2020, since 2017 when I shot my first one, the other from the from there on, I shot three 300s each year. Not in the season, but each year. Uh, and if I figured it up correctly, if I keep on doing this, by the time I by the time I turn forty, I should have thirty three hundreds in at the bowling center. Um, I'm hope I'm gonna be rolling match play again this year, hoping that it, that continues on, and hopefully I can win match play. You know, get like one or two match play titles under my belt. I like to win states one of these years with uh, my doubles partner, TJ. Have something like that under my belt for my resume, stuff like that. I need to start pulling more tournaments and stuff like that. So, I'm in the, right now I'm on the road to getting my Hall of Fame resume set up so I can be inducted. Sorry about that. I just woke up from a nice little nap I had after leaving this morning. So, that's all I have for today. And I will see everyone tomorrow for Wednesday Night League and a little bit of a chat session. And I will see everyone tomorrow. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Um, it's... I'm on my way into center for Wednesday Night League. Uh, there will probably be a ball review up before league tonight. Uh, haven't done one in a while. Figured I would do one. So, uh, yesterday morning, with the way I bowled, and the mindset I had yesterday morning, made me feel like I was in, makes me feel like I'm in tournament mode. I know it's only February, we have match play in April, state's in May, but I'm getting there now. Um, I kind of like being in that mindset to where it helps me be more focused, because there's times that if I'm not focused, I just get out, I just get off hand. So, and then now for a difference, let's uh, have a subject calls. Um, let's talk about the surfaces. So, when a ball is factory, and nothing's been changed to, to the surface, has been cleaned yet, and stuff like that, you get it to where a ball has a certain smell. Like with Brunswick stuff, when you get one of their bowling balls and it's brand new, right out of the box, before they even drill, it has that chemical smell to it from it being made in the factory. Most people don't like that smell. I do. It's like it's almost like a new car, like a new, new ball, new car smell kind of thing. Um, Storm stuff, they always have where their stuff has fragrance to it. That could be the that could be so there's not like a chemical smell. Um, don't know about the rotor grip or not the global stuff. Motive stuff has a certain smell to it. That's from when it's being made in the factory. But other than that, most people think that if a ball is shiny, it's gonna go out and lean for it. It does. But pin placement has a has something to do with it too. Um, 
people think the longer the pin is, the further the ball will be down the lane. Um, I really haven't tested that subject out yet. I don't know how true that is. Because short pin, people think short pin makes it turn up sooner. Well, I've had where short pins go on longer. And that's mainly because of of uh, my surface either being, being shiny. Now, depending on what shot you're on, you're either going to your surface to be shiny or you're going to be dull. Now, a short pattern, you're not going to want to throw something shiny because what it's going to do is it's going to hook up too soon and it's going to overhook and you're not going to figure it out. So, on a short pattern, you're going to want to throw urethane or throw resin with a dollar surface because with the dollar surface will back the ball off a little bit and it won't overhook. And be easier to adjust to. Um, so, when you have a medium pattern, certain medium patterns you can just throw anything. Now, with longer patterns, you're gonna want to throw something shiny or throw a pearl ball or something like that. That way, the ball will hook up sooner and not skid too much. About six or seven years ago, there was bone balls that came out that were made to where they're only a two-piece core. So what it means when you have a two-piece core is that you have to make the ball do you have to make the ball work. You can't just let it come off your hand and the ball do the work. And I had a ball like that, but I rolled it really well. But the way I rolled that ball is I just played it more inside and just gave it a little bit at the bottom. But with a ball that has a two-piece core, most people go with no tips. Most people drill them in down so that way it does hook. So they don't got to put a lot into it. Me, if I have a ball with two-piece core, I like to... Uh, use power lifts on it because I want to go to grab at the bottom I can grab it enough at the bottom to where it will to where it will turn um, my stuff I use now I just use the normal oval grips that way I'm not grabbing it too much at the bottom but I can still come out of it right um, back years back like if I used to use the power lifts and then after a while, I started ripping through it too much to where I was cutting up the side of my finger. Had to stop doing that. Um, I don't, I don't change the surface of my stuff too much. Um, another person that uses the same sanding pad conditioner that I have asked me how much I go, how often I go through it. And what I told him is, I don't resurface my stuff until like almost like every three months because I don't mold that much and my stuff doesn't like under or overreact that much that much so if I need to resurface something I make sure I look it up see what it needs and then I'll put it on the ball spinner to resurface it because I feel like for me it's easier to resurface it on the ball spinner than it is for me to do it by hand I can get all four sides on the ball spinner easier than I can do them by hand. So, uh, that's all I have for now. I will see everyone later for league, and have a good night.
hog and I left it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mike? 
before we started to see if I could go live on there. Yeah. It's saying 24 hour ready. So it's saying it's 24 hours so it should be ready to go live on YouTube. Okay, I just sent it to you. And then soon you can do like this. Hey Bob, come on, you know better than that.
Exactly. What line are you playing? I pulled that one inside a touch. I didn't see it. I'm just wondering what line you're playing. Because you have to say. Standing on 32 on the outside of my left foot. I'm doing math to adjust where I stand because I measure off the inside of my right foot. The outside of my right foot. So you're basically just putting it across the lane. The entire lane, out to about five. Oh, interesting. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> I have this line so far. Too much in there. Yeah, because you have where Rick and Larry are basically down the right side. Uh -huh. If there isn't any hold, hold no, it's not going to work. Well, outside of that area, because of Rick throwing his urethane game one, it's very slick. But on my line, it's real Who threw your urethane game one? Not Rick. Uh, Scott. Scott. I was going to say, I've never seen Rick Davis throw urethane. Sounds like a sexual act. It does. That's why I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> They're a baseball Sorry, team that just, that 
doesn't play baseball like normal people. Watch out. They do dances in the middle of the game, play on stilts, play in costumes. Oh yeah, I've seen something like that on TikTok. Do you want to know what their cheerleaders are? Wow. The Banana Nanas. Wait, 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 there's cheerleaders in baseball? For their team there is. Uh, the Banana they, Nanas. Yeah, they need normal baseball. That's just fucking around. The two requirements is you have to be retired and older than 55 to be a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't imagine a person ordered 55 on stilts. They don't, the banana man, they don't, they're not on stilts, the players are on stilts while playing oh, you, the game. Oh, you're talking about the cheerleaders? Yes. You have to be older than 55 to be a, to be a cheerleader. Uh -huh. Oh my. Here you go, sir. Have a good day. <laughs> Yay. 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 Hey, Paul. Paul. Gutter. Whatever, lane, gutter.
It felt kind of funny, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> got that right. That was the important word. That was the important word. Ha, 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 ha. 
Nah, they're on the bed. It's not, that's not your niche. <laughs> Two boards. Mm. You got it outside too far. Yeah. Two boards. And he threw it 15 miles an hour. Mm. He normally throws almost 60. Well, he's putting the ball there. Uh huh.
she did it herself? No. Oh. I'm not gonna. She hasn't had her evening nap, so I'm pretty sure she ended up going home. The cranky the crab ass that's showing her naps. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Hey, you know, good run. Sorry, Connie. You're good. You said, hey, move your arm. I could have said that, but that seemed like a lot of effort. And then I was like, limbo. Limbo. <laughs> I'm so cool. Hey, it's all right. We're all kids at heart. Uh, the people I was going Monday, they they looked at me. They're like, "How old are you? You have you can't be any older than 19." I was like, "No, <laughs> 26." They're like, "You're lying. We need we need your ID." And I hand them my ID. They're like, "Oh my God, you are 26." <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you have a face of a Look, my mom just like, said the same thing. You are 26? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next year, I'll be out of high school for 10 years. Which is really weird. I'll be yeah. out of high school 60 years. That's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> John <laughs> lost it. Now it's with. Now, now we ain't gonna see it. We don't need you. I don't get it. Seriously. I get For one, Don.
How's it going so far? Alright. I'm guessing. And then check. What pin did you leave? Fourth? Ten pin. Oh. And apparently I made it. Yeah, but that's makeable. But I heard my ball hit the cushion. So I must have like lightly hit it. So you pull the key. Basically. Wind just turns. Oh, I've had that before too, where it just seems like the wind takes it. Oh, good try, Don. In that order.
too bad. That's not a full house. That's a little dingy. That's a little rat. No, that's like a tent. That's way like that a one person tent. Like that. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you can't get any lower than that for, for a dingy. It could. Well, twos and threes. Twos over well, threes. Well, true.
Bluegrass next to oh, honey, anybody else. Bluegrass, I listen to him eat that. Got them, them three the next. Yeah. 
What's up everybody? Um, I'm on my way home from Wednesday Night League. Uh, as everybody saw, I didn't shoot any shots on the third game, but I went 216, uh, what was it, 268, 250 something, and then a 209, I had 693. Uh, have yet to shoot a game under 200 with the one remix. Uh, like I said before, ball so smooth. So the last game I had the front five and then all of a sudden shit I pulled the ball twice and then all of a sudden I started getting left shit so I wasn't thinking right like I couldn't like go and say hey say to myself hey do this do that and then get back on the strike train um, so everything is fine uh couple people I know that bowl tonight too they are struggling the one guy says I don't throw pearl I, I don't throw pearl at all I just don't like it I don't think and I said you always need something in your bag it's shiny you should always have pearl in your bag because you never know when you're gonna need a pearl um the one remix is shiny it works so That's all I have. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing. Uh, I did go and look at the live to see if I could go live on YouTube. Uh, I say 24 hour ready, so probably in 24 hours I'm gonna check that. I'll probably wait till Friday to check that if I'm able to go live. And if I am, next week I might go live and I will see everybody later. And have a good, good night.